This is Rhonda Brooks with Farm Journal Media, and I'm here today with Missy Bauer, Associate Field Agronomist with Farm Journal. And Missy, we've been here at Corn College. You've been talking about implementing vertical tillage. And uh, as we move into the fall, that's an option for farmers. What would you recommend that they be thinking about? Well, the first thing I'd say is when we, we think of the term and talk about the term vertical tillage, the first thing we need to remember is that vertical tillage is a system. It's not just one tool. So a lot of times people think maybe it's just that leveling tool that they bought as a vertical till tool. But it actually starts with the tillage they do in the fall. So what we want to make sure if you're going to get ready to go out and implement vertical tillage this fall is that your primary tillage, if you're going to chisel plow this fall, that we need to be chisel plowing deep enough that we get uniform shatter shank to shank. So you have one shank of your chisel plow here, one here. We want to make sure that we've shattered that soil in between there. When we come back in in the spring with our vertical till leveling tool, if we have not shattered between those shanks, what we have is very loose soil around the shank and a hard column in between. And then loose soil by the shank again. And what my planter feels is loose soil, firm soil, loose soil, firm soil. So we end up with a, not a very good seed bed uh, in comparison. If I would have just went through there with my field color or my disc, it would have reset that whole profile maybe four inches deep but a vertical till leveling tool is only going to work on that top couple inches. So what we end up with as an end result, if you didn't do your primary tillage properly, in this whole vertical tillage system is very uneven uh, ear count out there. So you see we got some small ears, we got some big ears, but a lot of unevenness and a lot of up and down here. We don't want to let our tillage system sacrifice our ear count. So the biggest thing you can do this fall, if you're going to implement a vertical tillage system, when you go out with your chisel plow or your inline ripper this fall, check and make sure you're getting shatter shank to shank. How do you get shatter shank to shank? It's going to be a function of depth, uh, shank spacing, as well as that tool design. Take your spade out there, do a little digging across the back of the machine, and see what's happening.